once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this, and nothing more. The raven, the black cat, the telltale heart. These bone-chilling tales are as recognizable as the famous writer of horror, Edgar Allan Poe. But Poe's mysteries don't just live on the page. They also walk among us, as his gravesite itself is shrouded in mystery. It's the early morning of January 19th, the anniversary of Poe's birthday, at the Westminster Burying Ground in Baltimore, Maryland. Suddenly, a mysterious man appears out of the darkness. Disguised in all black clothing, a wide-brimmed hat, and a white scarf across his face, he approaches the grave of Edgar Allan Poe. And so, the ceremony begins. He pours a glass of cognac and raises a toast to the deceased author. He leaves the unfinished bottle, along with three carefully arranged roses resting on the tombstone. And just as quickly as he appears, he vanishes. He is the Poe Toaster. Decades pass as he continues his annual tradition, following the same steps down to every last detail. His mystique captivates Baltimore as more people witness this intriguing ritual, but his identity is never revealed. But just recently, clues began to emerge. A series of messages were left at the gravesite. The torch will be passed. Edgar, I haven't forgotten you. The original toaster had died, but the man behind the tradition had passed it down to another to keep the secret persona alive. The Poe toaster has become a legend among fans of the famous writer and a spectacle in Baltimore with the crowds growing larger each year. Many imposters have claimed to be the dark figure, but all of their stories have been refuted. The last toast was made in 2009, marking what would have been Edgar Allan Poe's 200th birthday, leaving us to wonder where his most dedicated fan has gone. So it appears that this graveyard tradition may be never more, but when January 19th rolls around, one day you might see roses, a bottle of cognac, or some late visitor entreating entrance at his chamber door. This it is, and nothing more.